Hello YouTube, what's going on everybody? Jeff right here, aka Splat Activate. The only reason I'm using that intro is because the Skyrim's Accurate channel used that intro last time. So, it'll, it'll have a new intro when I come back um, with, you know, everything new and all that. Uh, also, fair warning, I am planning on doing some test songs. So basically, you're going to see a black screen with the song that I'm going to use to see if really, again. <laughs> it just went off. My mom's trying to cook, I guess. And this is what happens when you cook. Smoke detectors go off. They'll go off eventually. So, um... Gosh, it's getting louder. Um... Okay. <laughs> Great way to start off a video. So, um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Splatoon. Uh, my history with the game and all that. Um... And yeah. And really why I'm a Splatoon YouTuber, for the most part. Or why I want to be a Splatoon YouTuber. Um... So yeah, I have the list of Splatoon update patch notes on this iPad because it's kind of important. I didn't know this is actually... Oh, great. Can, can I see the update stuff? Thanks. So, um, basically, there's some stuff I didn't know about Splatoon. Apparently, until last night, I looked it up and, you know, I spent most of my night that the night instead of sleeping looking up stuff about Splatoon because when you're up late, you can't sleep. <laughs> um, so yeah, so... Let's get into today's video. It's also unedited because I don't have the stuff to edit it. Because my good computer is at the repair shop and the person is sick. Yay. So, <laughs> let's dive into this. So, Splatoon. So, when the game came out, I never really had internet here. I mean, it's the same as it is now for the most part. Like, minus this hotspot that I have on this phone that I use like for everything. Yeah, it, it, it sucks. You just can't use it, period. That's how bad it is. So, um... Yeah, I couldn't use it. So I knew I I knew, only yeah the only way I knew about Splatoon was through the promotional ads like right before the game came out. Uh, I was like, this is a cool game. I should get it. But at the same time, I was worried because it's a first person shooter. Well, it's, it's a shooter, and I wasn't really sure what to expect because I'm not a shooter person at that time, and you know neither am I now. Um, a little. I, I'm a little into it, but yeah. So um. Yeah, Splatoon. So I got the game a little after its release. I got like the weekend of or something, maybe a couple weekends later. Um, but yeah, so um, I picked up the game and I was like, you know what? If this game requires internet, so be it. Um, then I bought a game I'm never going to play. Um, I knew it did at some point, but I didn't know it was as heavy as it is Like with the storage. You can't go in there unless you have internet. Like, the only thing you can do with Splatoon is the story with all offline. That's what I did for the majority of the stuff. Um, what I didn't know was the update history. I've always gone to my grandmother's house every weekend to update stuff. Consoles and whatnot. I didn't have time to play because I was too busy on updates. So that's really what I did. I updated stuff. But it was boring and I was up forever to update consoles and all that. So, um, so Splatoon update history that I missed. It's a lot. Like when the game first came out, it didn't have a rank battle, which is nuts. Um, it didn't have League Battle, which I believe was Squad then. Oh, my phone's gonna do that a lot too. And the side pad. Um, there wasn't like any squad, there was no um, private lobbies, private battles, whatever they're called. Um, it was just Turf War when the game came out. It's nuts to know that. They didn't actually put Ranked in until like a couple days later. Um, even though it's not shown in the update history, it was there. I can tell you that. Um, so yeah. Alright, so, Splatoon, what I missed with the game. Um, so when I bought the game, I never played it because I said updates. That's all I had time to do over the weekend. Okay, seriously, can you back on my page? Thanks. So, um, yeah, I never played the game, and to be honest, I missed a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go over that now. So, let's do this. You know, surely, yeah. Um, so apparently Spike and Judge can give the players money back. That, that got fixed in the second update. Um, matchmaking rewards, balance, special weapons and abilities, blah, blah, blah. The August update, uh, I was looking it up, and man, everybody was going nuts over the August update. And apparently, I, I don't blame you. It had squad battle, private battle, um, progression changes. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, if you want to let me know down in the comments, please, because I don't understand some of this stuff. <laughs> I never played Splatoon, all right? Um, the new level cap, I think that was 50. Um, new rank cap, I'm assuming that's S, S or S plus, something like that. What was it like before? Did it just go up to A? Wow. I didn't even need that. Oh, and then it takes me back. Okay, I gotta go back to, oh, where, where, whoa, is it? oh, we're on the weapons page. 
No! I want the, uh... Version history? Load the wiki page. Where do I go? Uh, list of updates in Splatoon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, oh gosh. Don't zoom me in like that. Alright. Um, new level cap, new rewards, uh, 12 new headgear items, 22 new clothing items, 11 pairs of shoes, new music tracks. I never knew about the new music tracks. Alright? I thought they were all the same the whole game. Um... Major changes to terrain and objects placement in urchin in the urchin yeah in the urchin underpass stage. I've heard about the stage changings dramatically. I was like jeezy peasy. I didn't know they did that. It's nuts. I wish I could play the old version of Splatoon. I might actually try doing that on my own Monday. Um, adjustments to the layout of Akronoma Mall, Kelpdown, Moray Towers, and Salt Spl Salt Spray Rig. Man, that's a lot of stuff they changed. Like, I want to see what it's like beforehand versus after all these changes happen. If you guys know, like, a video I can watch, that'd be great. Put it down in the, in the comments, because I'd love to see it. Because I never got to see this stuff. Alright? Um, and it's nuts to know they went back and changed the layout. Splatoon 2, they don't do that at all. Um, change how the weapon winning time team is determined when a Splatfest event ends. Look for, first of all, how is it beforehand and how is it after? I'm assuming it's what we see in Splatoon 2, but I'm not sure. Balance update for main weapon special and ability gesture. But that was all for the August update, which is two, version 2.0, by the way. But, like, jeez. It doesn't sound like much to me, but when you think about it, it's kind of nuts. Alright. Um, bug fixes. Adjustments to some states to remove. Unintended shortcuts. What? Unintended shortcuts? That's, uh, that's new. Like, I want to see those. Um, but okay. that You see that a lot. Uh, multiplayer battles, bug fixes for them. Uh, for some stages to remove unintended shortcuts, yeah. Unintended weapon usage, I don't know what that means, but it was supposed to prevent that. Um, balance adjustments for main weapons, sub specials, and just yeah. Adjustments for matchmaking and points, gain loss for S and S plus rank. So I guess they changed how S and S plus rank kind of work. Um, with, like, gaining and, gaining and losing, um, ranks there, I guess. Um, the new headgears, clothing, shoes, yeah. Buck fixes, um, uh, oh, change the display of the result screen for rank battles. How did that change? I don't, I don't know. I, I'd love to see. Um, adjustments for the matchmaking for Splatfest battles and regular battles. So, I don't know how that worked, but what was it like before and after is what I want to know. I guess it goes by, like, around your level. Now, and I don't know what it was before. I guess before it was like random people, whoever could find. Um, introduced prohibited areas in some stages in Rainmaker mode. So, I did notice in Piranha Pit that uh, Rainmaker zones um, were different than the original map, which is weird. I wonder if it's like that in Splatoon 2. I think it is, but dang. Um, a lot of stuff's going on here. So, I wanted to see that happening. Um, where was I? Uh, anyways, I'm just going to skip to 2.6. I think we were around there. Um, they changed the layout of Akronoma Mall and Moray Towers again, I think. Maybe I read it before. But, like, what were these, like, before this update and after? Like, jeez. I know what it is now, but, like, what's changed? It's nuts. So much has changed. Um... Adjustments to the matchmaking for rank battles. I'll also like to see that. Decreases the amount of rank points if a teams are made um, uneven by a connection error. Oh, that's cool. Even though I kind of know what that means a little bit. Um, balance adjustments for abilities. Yeah. So apparently it was a vibe meter. Wait, I can actually click on that. What is a vibe meter? Oh. That's what it is. Okay, let me read this. Ah, so in this Splatfest, it changed to um, Splatfest Power, which is what we know now. Okay. Let me go back. So, um, eight new weapons, uh, balance adjustments. 
So apparently there were three special depletion classes and a weight class introduced. What does that even mean? Goodness. Um. Balance just more Okay, tracking effects stuff. Um, bug fixes for stages. Nine new weapons. Two new gear. Balance adjustment for the stealth jump ability. So I guess that was a new thing. I don't know. Um, Callie and Marie of Nebo. Uh, balance adjustment for weapon weapons. Blah, blah, blah. I saw those one they added, uh, like, sloshers and such. Maybe that was, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm wrong now, but they added, like, sloshers and stuff, two weapon classes in. That was cool. 2.10 to 2.12 is basically, um, bug fixes and stuff. But, yeah, so that was the list of updates in Splatoon, the original Splatoon game. Man, the game has changed since day one. Let me tell you that. Um, I was never here to experience it, as I never played the game, as I said. In fact, some information. Uh, my first Splatfest battle was in Acronoma Mall. Um, that's, a, it's kind of nuts. Um, what else was there? Oh, when I first did it, I thought you had to ink everything. I mean, everything. So I would do the wall, and I'm like, oh no, I can't get this spot. Oh no, I'm going to have to move on. Uh, so I'd spend like so long trying to ink it, uh, and it never would work. That was fun. I, I never knew it was just the ground. Until, uh, Splatoon 2, the ice cream versus cake Splatfest, which... Talk about that in a sec, well, really later in the video. Um, what else? So um, that's really where it starts off. I didn't. I just played the game. I didn't really have weapons or whatever, like main weapons or anything, because I never played the game. Um, so yeah. Um, and like I never played the game. I got to level ten when Splatoon two came out. That's that's how rare I played the game. Um, so yeah, and plus, like again, I didn't have the internet to play it. All right, so. Let's see here. Where should we fast forward to? I guess we'll go to... Yeah, because I never played it. The best time to go to is Splatoon 2. So, um... Oh, oh yeah, one more thing. The game had a ton of updates. I knew that. I knew that because i go to my grandmother's house on the weekends at the time to update everything. I mean everything. So, um, I never really did stuff. I just went there. I tried to update games and all that. Sure. Um, but yeah... I never really knew what's going on because I didn't have that media influence, you know, of what's going on. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. What else is there? So, I just thought the update was just, like, a bunch of pa patches getting fixed. Not, like, new, but just patches being fixed. So, yeah. Um. And then, uh, Splatoon 2 comes around E3. I learned there were rank matches when the Inkling Invitational was for E3 of... 2017 or whatever they did 2017 for E3. Uh, yeah, I think it was the Inkling Invitational. Um, I, I figured out there were rank battles. I didn't know they even existed until then. Um, so yeah, kind of nuts. And then, um, yeah, I didn't know about them until then. So I went back and got to level 10 and played them for a bit. Just like once or so because right before Splatoon 2 came out again. Um, yeah. Um, my first League battle was a couple days ago, by the way. That was kind of cool. It was very... It's not as hard as I thought it would be. Let me tell you that. Um, but yeah. It's also why I'm not great at the game, because I only had a full year to actually play the game before I never played it. It's actually... You know, I, oh, yeah. I never knew what a Splatfest was in Splatoon, because I never got, like, the announcements because I never played the game. So, I never knew what a Splatfest was. Kind of shocking. Like, jeez. And, like, all the Splatfests I missed, just... Never knew they existed. Um, kind of nuts. Like, I never got this selection screen or anything. It's, it's crazy. Um. Yeah, I never had, like, a main weapon. I just played with whatever, I think. I don't know what I did. Um. So, yeah. So, Splatoon. I think that's mostly it for the game. Oh, I never knew about all the new stages and such. Man, I go back and... Um, I went, I'll go back now to play it because I never played it before. Dang, it had some good stages. Um, so yeah. Uh, so Splatoon 2. Alright, they announced the game at uh, a Switch presentation. And I was like, wow, this is cool. And I actually wouldn't play the game. So, um, I played the game. I didn't play the test fires. I didn't want to play the test fires, to be honest, because the test fires, um, I didn't want to spoil myself. When the Splatfest World Premiere came, I wanted to play it so badly. Um, I never played it, but it was kind of unfortunate because I couldn't go to my grandmother's house at that time. Um, 
But what I did then instead is on my old phone with limited data, I watched a ton of people here live stream the game. Again, I only watched it in 360 quality then, 360p. That's not even HD because that's what the phone could support for live streaming and videos and everything. This one supports at least 720 now. It was working 1080, 60, and 1080, but uh, for some reason it just quit on me. So it's working 720 or 720, 60 now. Don't know why. Um, but yeah. So um, I watched a ton of live streams. People live stream uh, um, the Splatfest, um, Cake versus Ice Cream. I was all decked out for it. I had the lights up here going. It was it was a great time. Um, I watched like tons of YouTubers and. This is back before I had a YouTube channel. So basically, everything was pretend then with YouTube. I pretended to do YouTube. Yeah, make fun of me all you want. Um, so I basically pretended to live stream it all, and it was fun. It was really fun. Um, I was, like, going nuts over it. And man, that was a day I'll never forget. Um, my first Splatfest as well that I never actually played. My first official Splatfest I played, and it was so fun, too. Ketchup versus mayonnaise. I picked ketchup. I lost. Um, but anyways, that's a great way to start for Splatfest. <laughs> I've lost, like, majority of them anyways, I think. So, uh, um, Splatfest, that's that, and I love Splatfest to this day. It's pretty crazy. Um, my first main, I believe, at first, I was kind of looking around, and then I eventually found the Aerospray, and I played that for a trade of fire, then I moved to Dooley Squelchers, and there I have zero clue what the heck I did. I, I know I tried the Dooleys, but I couldn't stand them because... The ink goes out so quickly on them at the time. I needed a weapon that had a lot a lot more um, ink to use. Um, that way it doesn't deplete so quickly. And that can give me a good range, good fire rate, good everything. And have like, the best stats I learned sooner or later. I didn't give me the case. Like majority of weapons have something, uh, have a good flaw in them. You know, you're not getting that perfect weapon. And that's really what first person shooters are. Well, shooters are apparently. Um, so yeah. So, Splatoon 2. Oh, yeah, I was actually, like, really bad at it. I was that kid. Well, I wasn't the kid. In the first battle, I would, like, ink the walls, thinking the walls counted as your score. Because I knew, I thought Terraform, you ink everything. That's really what I thought it was. So, it's like, I was inking the wall, and I'd be like, oh, no, I missed that spot. Oh, gosh. And I was there for, like, three minutes trying to ink it. And they'd be like, oh, well, we're moving on. Like, really right before the battle ends. So, um, and that was that until the Splatfest. The first Splatfest ice cream versus cake. That's when I figured out that hey, um, it's only the the ground is the only thing that counts. And also, from then on out, I believe I was trying to learn how to play the game with like a not suck as hardly a uh, turf war. And uh, I got better at it. That's good. Um, so yeah, I got better at the game and. Yeah, I'm not the best because I never had that full year to play Splatoon. Um, if I did, I'd probably be a lot more better now. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm also, I'm at like level 27 as of recording this. My ranks, I don't even say because like, I never play rank battles much. I hate, I hate Rainmaker. Um, I'm just now getting back into Splat Zones and um, Tower Control, but like, because those are the good ones. They're, they're mad. Um, but Clam Blitz is where it's at. I love Clam Blitz. Um... So yeah, so yeah. Um, that's Splatoon for ya. My life at Splatoon a bit. Um, for the most part. Now I main is a dark tetra dualies. Just changed them over. Um, it was the dualies. They here are replica dualies. But I kind of figured myself out myself out that like, hey, I'm uh running out of ink in the middle of trying to shoot a person. <laughs> Not a good way to do as you're rolling around trying to splat a person, in like that really high octane combat and then. You can't splat them because you're out of ink, you know, and they just splat you, and you're like, ugh. Dark Hector Dillers, you can roll as much as you want. That's really why I use them. Um, but yeah, I, I switch around a bit now. Um, so yeah, that's really my life with Splatoon. I'm not the best Splatoon player because I didn't have that experience with it, but I watch a ton of YouTubers play. I know I watch Obi Wan, Abdallah, whose tricks aren't the best. Um, at the time they were, they were fine, but the game's changed a lot since they came out. Um, but yeah, I really wish I was there to experience the Splatoon train, um, huh. and to experience Splatoon before the game came out, like when it first got revealed to now, not really to, you know, when it released. I hear that was a great time to be a Splatoon fan. I shouldn't say I hear, but it seems like it's a 
great time to be like hyped for the game and everything. I didn't know it existed until the promotion trials came out right before the game came out. So yeah, that's my life for ya. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to add me on uh, Wii U, it's the Boom D A and then Boom, and then Switch friend code. I don't know. <laughs> um, most of my stuff is in the um about tab of the channel, the about section or whatever it's called. Um, that's where I keep everything for the most part. But yeah, that's Splatoon. Uh, my experience with Splatoon a bit. Um, Splatoon 2 comes out, I get better at it. and I'm, I can barely get a thousand points in a match. You know, barely. And that's majority of the time, so that's pretty cool. Um, I, remember, I remember when I first got Splatoon, I had more losses than wins. <laughs> by a lot. Um, it was like 27 to like 20. It's kind of nuts. Like, 27 is the defeat side. Like, the losses, so. That was fun. Um, but I got better, and stats were starting to even out a bit, and now they're kind of, they're kind of going back down a bit, but, um, I'm working, I want to get to level 50. I mean, I know 90 is the highest level, but, like, most people are 50, and I don't play them. I guess that means I don't play enough of the game. Who knows? Who knows? But, yeah. Okay, where'd that circle thing go that I dropped? I drop those things all the time in my recordings. And I didn't drop it last time I tried to do this, which was good. But this one, I drop it. Oh, there it is. Anyways, um, but yeah, expect more quality content in the future. Edited quality content um, on here and Skyrim's Activate. And jeez, my nose is going nuts. Um, so yeah, I just got to get intro going. My friend is working on that stuff, and I don't know where he's doing there. Um... But yeah, when I get back, I'm getting a new laptop. I'm getting a laptop because I need a new one like, desperately to record with and everything. I'm getting that on like Wednesday, so that's good. But I can't record because I need the overlay and stuff and everything really. Yeah, yeah also, you're going to see some songs coming up soon on, I don't know, probably Scars Activate. Maybe I'll do it here as well. It'll be a black screen, but you'll hear the song of like the intros and outros. Um, just to see if they get striked or whatever, or they get copyrighted or whatever. Who knows? But uh, that's just a test to see, and if not, then we'll have to rethink it. So, expect that coming eventually. So, yeah, so that's really my experience with Splatoon. Um, so, on the channel, if you see me playing Splatoon 1, that is why, because I never played it, and I wanted to go back and experience all these cool new maps, because, man, they look really cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and check out Splatfest gameplays of Splatoon, because I really love going back, watching people play Splatoon. Um, the... Gameplay of like Splatfest, going back, seeing all the trailers for Splatoon, even before the game came out. Um, so yeah, and seeing where things came before, like um, you know, with the brief histories of Splatoon and all that, kind of nuts. So um, yeah, I I love to do a segment where well one I like to tour the maps like between Splatoon one and two, um, that's cool, but like that's a hard thing to do to edit. So I'm I'm gonna wait on that. Another series I wanted to do. If I can clear my nose, it's like, jeez. Another series I wanted to do, um, I can't do it because I'm not, you know, I can't get someone on to do this because I need someone um, who's played Splatoon, like, since, and, like, has been there with Splatoon since its original launch. Well, not launch, but its original, it's, eh. It's the first trailer, like, ever. Um, the official reveal, I guess, of the game. Um, and I want to, like, ask him and talk about how the game was. You know, before and now, and like, you know, when the game was going through its times, you know, stuff that I remember, and experiences, all that, because I never did experience it, so, it's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I think that's about that for today's recording. That's actually kind of boringer than I thought it would be to talk about it, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, Splatoon 2 gameplays, by the way, it's going to be very different than most people do, to be honest. It's going to be more of like a Let's Play series, rather than... I don't know, something like most Splatoon 2 YouTubers do. Splatoon 2 YouTubers, so, um... Yeah, just wanted to say that, um... That's, that's, that's all I got to say. I can say it is between my two channels. I'm expecting this one to do a lot more better. I can tell you that off the get-go, because Splatoon is more relevant. Anyways, that's going to be that for today. Um, until then, I will see you in... Probably when I get all my stuff ready to record my actual Splatoon videos. Um... Like, legit Splatoon videos, not like this, where it's, like, unedited everything. I also want to record a channel trailer, a, a, tra a, <laughs> a trailer for the channel once I get, like, everything working again. So, that'd be nice. So, uh, yeah. 
I'll see you eventually. Probably within like another, maybe a month or maybe a month or two, I'll come back um, to actually do it. I know it's a long time, but yeah, be on the lookout. We'll have some stuff coming up soon, and hopefully things can go great. So, or things will go well, and yeah. All right, it's going to be it for today. Till then, I'm going to use this camera's activate outro because that's really what I have to go off with. Um, so till then, peace out and goodbye.